think we're looking at the mouth of the Woodside Tunnel, which uh, would have been dug probably in the very early 1880s. It appears on the 1882 uh, Gorlinski map. And although when we look down inside the tunnel here, it seems like you're going downhill, we're standing on a big pile of detrius that's just fallen down off the hillside since back in those days. I think, you know, that this was basically a level uh, out, you know, uh, exit from the tunnel. And then when we go out here and look around here, that's all the overburden that they pulled out when they dug the tunnel. And so uh, this would have been here when Tom uh, got the contract to dig yet another tunnel. And I'm guessing, just because the Mayflower is that way, that Tom's tunnel dug that way. And that's kind of how the big discovery happened. And the last subsidence was actually pretty large. So, uh, this is pure speculation. Uh, but, so to speak. You know, if, if you're Tom and you're, you know, drilling holes by hand, you're going to follow the ore. You're not going to go in a straight line. And so, it wouldn't surprise me that it might turn. And if it did turn and you found a big deposit, then he might start jumping up and down and saying, hey, so all we need is a, 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 a LIDAR or a, a, a drone to see where the hole is? <laughs> well, so Ted has offered maybe to come up with a drone. Yep. Maybe start an airplane in, in a straight line, because if you go in a straight line right up the hill, you're basically going to come up to the Silver King stuff, right? The mill and the and the shaft are up that way. Huh. I think a great, you know, some aerial photography would help piece some of this stuff together. It could. Oh, well, and, and it would be fabulous content for the museum website, right? Say, hey, hey there's a hike. If you could yeah, over it. There's a destruction yeah. of the hike. You know, here's yeah. what you can see. You can see, you know, assuming we can verify that that's... That really marries the story to the hike. Um, and yeah. Yeah. But, um, Well, Rio right. Tinto also did a survey for the museum of the mining structures with a really high-end drill. Uh, so it, that they could... Into the, this stuff up they didn't do the claims. Well, I don't, you know, who knows what they did because uh, they, they were going up. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're oh. just kissing it. Yeah. Yeah, it goes with my leg. Want a tourniquet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, they, they definitely surveyed the Silver King buildings, yeah. which are just up the road. So, uh -huh. uh, so where I'm going to go from here, here is there's, uh, there's also, Marty, tell me that's, a, that's some kind of U.S. which I wear here. Some kind of post, not that really, not that I would really try to find it. But. Silver King Mill here, where they would have refined the ore from the, from the shaft up above. I have no idea how any of this stuff works. We'll have to get Donovan to explain it to us. Same small shack with a, a old workbench and a, oh, really? a little wooden table. It's about maybe two feet square. 